Hey guys, Patrick here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a shadow effect for some text. It's a nice beginner tutorial. There are three layers, a text layer, a shadow layer, and the background layer with this gradient effect here. And I've also added a, a, a fade effect on the shadow as well. So let's get started by creating a new canvas, file and new. I've gone for the default web canvas 640 by 480 and click OK. The background layer is currently locked as I can see from this little icon here. If I double click, type in the word background and click OK, the background layer is now unlocked. I can now add my gradient effect by right clicking and going to blending options. Over here I have gradient overlay and I'm going to apply a gradient overlay to that layer and it's gone for the default black to white gradient. If I click on the gradient selector here, into the editor, and I can go for any preset I wish, I'm going to go for this orange and yellow one, click OK, and OK again. So that's my gradient effect done for the background. And I want to add a new layer. So I've gone to my layers palette. On this icon here, I can add a new layer. And I'm going to call this text for my text layer. Go to my text tool. I'm just going to press D on my keyboard to make sure I'm into the default colors here. And I'm going to type in the word shadow, if I can spell. I'm going to go into my selection tool, drag this across the center. And if I hold down my uh, shift key, and if I click on any of these handles, I can resize the word shadow as required. And when I'm finished, press return on the keyboard. So that's the text layer done. And I'm going to duplicate this text layer to create the shadow. So I'm going to click and drag and drop that text layer onto the new layer icon. That's the duplicate layer. Double click and call this one shadow. And it's a good idea to get into the habit of renaming layers as you go. I'm going to drag that down here. So the shadow layer is now underneath the text layer. So there's actually two text layers here. You can't actually see them, but if you just move one, there's the shadow layer there. And I need to flip this layer over by going to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. I want to resize this layer, it's a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to click on this Transform handle here and pull down. If you don't see your transform handles, press Command and T on your keyboard if you're on a Mac, or Control T if you're on a PC. I'm just going to move that back up to the shadow. Okay, and press Enter when done. And I want to add some perspective. In other words, make it a little bit bigger as it comes towards me. Uh, currently, it looks as if it's just going straight up and down. And I want it to have an effect as if it's actually on a like on a floor here. Now before I do that I need to convert this layer into a rasterized layer. In other words it's currently a text layer, a vector layer, and I want to convert to a rasterized or pixel based layer. So rasterize and layer. And you can see straight away the way these icons have changed. It's gone from a text layer to a, a pixel based layer. To add the perspective go to Edit Transform Perspective and just drag the handles out to the side to get a little bit of perspective on the shadow. And it now looks as if it's coming towards us. Press return and that's it done. To add the fade, just going to add a vector mask or layer mask. Um, and over here, make sure D's pressed on the keyboard. I'm going from, from black to white. Gradient tool. I'm going from black to transparent on a linear gradient. I'm just going to click and drag to create a bit of a, a fade on that shadow. In fact, add a little bit more, I think. There we go. And that's the tutorial finished. Hope you found it useful. Uh, have a little practice, see how you get on, and let me know if there's any problems.